Okay, hi guys, and uh, welcome to another Planet Moonshine, and this time we are going to be making some pomegranate liqueur. Yeah, these pomegranates came from my garden, and we're going to have a go at a spiced pomegranate liqueur because, well, uh, yesterday was Halloween and uh, we're coming up to Christmas and... See, I've got my uh, predator and my snailian helping to uh, <laughs> helping to make me make some nice liqueur. Anyway, uh, let's get in. So, what we're going to do first of all is we've got to juice these puppies. So, uh, there are many ways you can do it, and the easiest is quite simply to cut the pomegranate in half. They look great. <laughs> and just juice them. So, hmm, I suppose it would help if I got my juice collector, put it underneath. Let's try again. So it's just my orange juicer uh, and I've uh, got plenty of oranges in the garden at the minute because it's that sort of time. So I'm just going to try and squeeze some more of the juice out of these pips because you know there's a lot of bitter and nasty skin stuff in there and we don't want that in our juice. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and juice the rest of these puppies. I don't know, there must be a couple of kilograms here so I'll come back to you when that's done. Okay guys, so the juicing's done. Uh, in the end, we got about a liter and a half in total. And we're just straining that through a, a sieve into a pan. So uh, next job is to add some sugar. Okay guys, so in here, I have got something like uh, 1200 mils, I think I remeasured it little bit more accurately and here I've got about 700 grams of uh, uh, Demerara? Demerara sugar, yeah. Mm. Uh, and I'm just gonna put the sugar in with the juice and then we're gonna put that on the stove and uh, we're gonna uh, heat it, boil it, stir it until all of the uh, sugar is dissolved and then we're going to add about the same amount of GNS. This GNS is at about 95, 95.5% alcohol by volume, and it's a very pure uh, grain spirit. So that should give us uh, something like about 2.5 litres of uh, pomegranate liqueur. Now we're going to add some spices as well. Okay guys, so in the end, we found cinnamon sticks. We're going to put one of these in. We're going to put three cloves, two cardamom, cardamom pods, one star anise, and a few cumin seeds. That should spice it up plenty on top of the pomegranate flavor and the alcohol. We should have ourselves a pretty good going liqueur. Okay guys, so here we are on the stove and we're not quite boiling yet. Most of the sugar has dissolved, but there's still a few grains in the bottom. Just in case anyone was wondering about the predator and snailian, there's a close up. Nah. 
Okay guys, so uh, what we're doing now is we're just taking uh, our uh, pomegranate and uh, spices and uh, they've been cooling down, uh, not completely cold yet, but they're getting there. And we're just going to put it through a, a muslin filter just to uh, strain out uh, the spices and uh, any little pithy bits that are left and then uh, later on ultimately when it's all mixed together we're probably also going to uh, put that through a, um, a coffee filter so that we've got a completely uh, non-cloudy liqueur now this has got a, yeah, not the most pleasant brown colour, which I think is almost certainly due to uh, using a demerara sugar, and of course the spices have uh, contributed to that. But uh, I think for our purposes it should be okay. So I'll come back to you when this is done. Okay guys, so after all of that, we're taking one litre of GNS and we're going to mix it with one and a half litres Of our pomegranate spice mixture and what we have now is two and a half litres of liqueur and about 40% ABV. So we're just going to give that a mix. Let's give it a test. Mm. Flavour wise that's awesome. Colour-wise, it's not very attractive. Don't know what we're going to do about that yet, but we'll think of something. Okay, so the good news is that our uh, pomegranate liqueur has pretty much cleared now. Well, it's still clearing slightly, but you can see there's a fairly thick sediment at the bottom. And what we've got left with... There's the sediment. It's a nice burnt orange colour. So, I'll give you an update again after we've filtered it. Okay guys, so here we are for the uh, final section of the spiced pomegranate liqueur video. And here we have the final product. So, yay, fantastic. Uh, a nice liqueur bottle, 350 mils. We've got a nice label on the front there. And the most important part, of course, is sampling. So, take a look at the colour. We've got a beautiful burnt orange colour. On the nose, you can smell the pomegranates really very clearly. It smells sweet and it smells reasonably alcoholic. Yay! Mmm, so that's really nice. In the mouth, uh, the first thing you get is the spices. It's a very warm feeling. Uh, it's very sweet, uh, which is the intention. And it's got a, um, a warming smoothness as it goes down. But the flavours that you get are, um, well, it's like a... It's like a Christmas pudding, really. Uh, the pomegranate's there, but it's a little bit more muted. It's more the back flavor that you get. On the nose, it's the prominent flavor, without a doubt. It, it's definitely what you smell the most. Um, but as it goes down, what you get from this is uh, really the, the, the cloves and the, um, 
uh, oh gosh, I can only think of the Spanish word for it, canela, uh, cinnamon. The, yeah, so it's the cinnamon and uh, the, the cloves and the anise to a certain extent, but the anise is quite suppressed. Mm. So that's delightful. My good lady wife likes it too, so um, I think it's going to go down well at the Christmas markets that we're going to be doing. And so much so that I have started work on some more liqueurs. Uh, so when we finally get to the Christmas market, I'm hoping to have five different liqueurs uh, available for sale. So uh, if that's of interest to you, you better think about uh, subscribing and ringing the bell to get notifications because the next video is going to be all about the fruit liqueurs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Um, it helps the channel. Give us a comment if you have uh, any ideas or advice. Uh, if you guys have made liqueurs of your own, tell me about them. Uh, if you have suggestions for what I should be making next, give us a shout. All right. Cheers, guys. See you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.